We are back. Uh, we're playing more of this Game Boy Advance Fellowship of the Ring game. Um, and we will see how much fun this continues to be. <laughs> so we're here in Crick Hollow now. Uh, we just unmasked Conspiracy. Shouldn't I be able to, like, take things that are on the table? One would think. I can take the sandwich. Ah, I have to stand on that side to take the beer. Very mediocre controls. Okay, uh, Sam's head is under the chair. And there it is. Sam is slipping through time and space. In the book, Frodo notices that uh, they kind of made the new home in Crick Hollow look as much like Bag End as possible. <laughs> um, and uh, it is all the same furniture, but it's also all the same furniture as literally every other Hobbit hole we've seen. You know what's great is being able to tell Hobbits apart. I'll give Mary two sticks. Cool. Now Mary can fight too next time we beat up a dog. Who are you? No. Who lives here? Mr. Roundpaw. Wish I had a cabbage for the fairy. Toss a cabbage to your fairy. Well, I stole a sandwich from whoever lives here, and I hope they're cool with it. Gaddy Mara's tail. Yeah, hey, give me them reeds. I'll weave them into bog shoes. Okay. I got bog shoes now. Whatever bog shoes are. Whoever I'm controlling needs to be wearing the bog shoes. I mean, if I encounter a Barrow White, that'll be useful. We should go east of the Old Forest and make for Bree. It'll be safer than the road. The Old Forest? That's as dangerous as the Black Riders. Don't be silly. Everything in the Old Forest is very much more alive, but it's not evil. I've been in there many times. Through the secret entrance of the Brandy Bucks. Okay. Um, well, this feels like east. That's probably the bog that I need the bog shoes to walk through. I just kind of automatically walked through them. Old forest. This is the bonfire glade. Hobbits lit a huge bonfire here, but the trees didn't like it, and they still haven't forgiven the hobbits. Well, we better not light any bonfires. Can I take those mushrooms? It's only the mushrooms that look like the King's Quest 1 mushroom. Those are the ones you can take. Eee, another sword. I don't know if I trust Sam with the sword yet, but on the other hand, everyone else already has a dagger, so... I'll just let Pippin have two swords. Oh, wow, just edge of the map. Oh, hey, battle. Trailing plant. We got uh, freaking piranha plants up in here. Back here again, Frodo. I feel like the trees are playing games with us. This is going to be one of those, like, confusing, uh, confusing forest mazes to navigate that we all love in video games, isn't it? But just wandering around all over the place. Yeah, whose fault is that, game? <laughs> I admit it, we're lost. Now I'm just curious how many different dialogue options we'll get just to trigger that we've been going around in circles. Ooh, this is different. I feel so tired. Let's stay here a while, Frodo. Oh, are we getting to Old Man Willow? Can't go another step without rest. Must sleep. It's cool under the willow. <laughs> Big old bear hug from Old Man Willow. What a foul thing to happen. That The willow has taken Merry and Pippin. Are we supposed to shout for help? Like, how do we, how do we summon Bombadil? First battle. A oh, well. Toss a coin, hear a tune? Sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? One, two, three, four. Okay. Well, that was something. That's definitely not in the book. Look, Frodo could already tell they were going to be more trouble than they were worth. Oh, more piranha plants. Did Mary and Pippin have all our food? That was bad planning on my part. Oh no, Sam has some beer. Plants are dead. Oh, and money came out of it. Do, 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 do. Oh, is this where I have to do the music? Let me start this over. <laughs> That's what summons Bombadil. Hey doll, berry doll, ring a dong dillo, tom bomb, jolly bomb, tom bombadillo. Look at his dead eyes. That's a creepy Bombadil if ever I done see one. <laughs> Just waddling in there. Help, the willow tree. What? Old man Willow? What's he been up to? I'll sling his roots off if he don't behave. Wait a while, little friends. Tom isn't a bother. He needs a feather for his cap and cannot find another. Will you find one for poor Tom? <laughs> oh, Tom, Mary and Pippin are dying and you're sending us on fetch quests. Oh, this must be uh, Tom's house. Tom's so careless, he dropped a blue feather from his hat near here. What a judgmental Goldberry. Oh, spider. I'm glad that missed because, uh... I really need to feed Sam. Oh, jeez. Well, as long as the spider keeps missing, I can take it down. Ah, there's the feather. Tom Pombadil's out in the forest. Helpful, Goldberry. Real fucking helpful. It's the magic placebo for flying Bombadil. Bombadil the flying enigma. Stuck a feather in his cap and called it Bombadillo. 
The feather found. Tom's duty bound to help our hobbit fellows. Old willow beards all earth and twig. Needs the little ones to grow up big. Find some willow withies and plant them nearby. That'll do the trick. Tom, you're supposed to do this. Okay, it might be time to give Sam a beer. Oh, did I just give it to Frodo by mistake? Fuck. <laughs> willow withies. Well, I never. Willow withies. If you plant them, they take root and grow. So we gotta expand Old Man Willow's root. Shh. Did I just... Okay, yeah, I walked inside of Old Man Willow's... No, perfect, perfect. Okay, Willow with these. Used. Where do I... Hold on, where do I put them? I just have to stand in front of Old Man Willow. Oh, we're inside the house of Tom Bombadil now. That looks like something grabbable, but it's not. Welcome, good guest. Tom will help the pair that fell asleep in an unwise place. I'm just always increasing health. I do like that the level ups are narrative driven. Like, they're... It's not just, like, level ups for battle, it's level ups for plot points for specific characters. No, I don't want to leave yet. I don't wish to leave the house of Tom Bombadil. I need to have nightmares about the sea first. Thank goodness we're out of that forest. It's straight over the Barrow Downs debris now. Maybe we'll meet Gandalf there. Oh, just straight over the Barrow Downs, no issue. I think it's getting foggy. This fog's getting worse. Are you sure we're going the right way? I can hardly see a thing. This tunnel is a bit frightening. A bit. Oh. Barrow White. You know, I wasn't taught to summon Bombadil, so, um, this could end poorly. Which one of these is the Knife of the Dead? That's probably the Knife of the Dead. Oh, Pippin gonna die. Let me give Pippin a sandwich. We killed a Barrow White, and we got a Barrow Blade. And Oak drops it to the floor. Only an acorn will open this door. I think we're meant to answer the riddle and use the answer in the hole. Well, uh, isn't the answer just an acorn? <laughs> then it looks like an acorn. Another barrow cave with multiple pathways. I see more opportunity to get lost. I would like to get to Bree today. That's my personal goal. Double barrow. Pippin, didn't I just tell you to use a mushroom? Yeah. I thought I just fed you, Pippin. <laughs> great, 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 great. This bodes excruciatingly well. Well. Yeah. They keep going after Pip. I armored him up. Is that not enough? Okay, one Barrow White is dead. This is where we could use Bombadil. Uh, don't kill any of us. That's right. You go ahead and miss. Found by a bogger stream, worked into shoes by the Woodman's Weave. So that's got to be the reeds, right? Do I drop them here? Use? Okay. Oh, I'm moving by my own. I smell cutscene. Are we at Bree? Hey, this must be Bree at last. How very, um, King's Quest V village. We got hobbits and big folk alike trying to talk to you. Mr. Appledore. <laughs> this is Mr. Appledore? <laughs> I assumed that message was for somebody in Hobbiton. Ah, some news from Hobbiton. How kind of you to act as a messenger. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Pippin, eat a mushroom. That whole fetch quest there was just for a mild power-up. So where's Peter Jackson grumpily chewing on a carrot? Lugos Goatleaf. My brother Agnes is as honest as day is long. You should trade with him. You're not you when you skip second breakfast. It's expansive. <laughs> but the citizens don't have much to say. My brother Lugos is the honest one. You should trade with him. I like I like these uh trader brothers both talking each other up. Oh, that looks like the side of the Prancing Pony, if I ever saw one. Good evening, little masters, and welcome to the Prancing Pony. What may you be wanting? My name is Mr. Er, uh, Underhill, and these fellows are traveling with me. We'd like beds for the night if that can be arranged. Are you Mr. Butterbur? Barnabin Butterbur, at your service. We have nice-sized hobbit rooms on the ground floor, just as you like them. I'll get them ready for you. I just walked through a lady. Who are you? Spoiler alert, he's Aragorn. I am called Strider. I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. Underhill. And you, sir. Be careful. We have strange travelers through Bree. We will speak later in your rooms. <laughs> am I gonna sing the Man of the Moon came down too soon? It. Here's a good one. Gabin, two eyes, a nose, and a gaping mouth forced by fire square around. A helmet, that's easy. A lot of... Riddle games going on in taverns. 
in this part of Middle Earth. Are these my runes or are these just some runes? These must be the Hobbit rooms. Ah, and Aragorn's just here already, and Mary is not going out uh, to find a Black Rider. What do you want? I am Aragorn, though most call me Strideye, and I must have a reward for what I have to tell you. And what would that be, pray? The reward is that you must take me along with you. Well, what do you know? Too many dark things. I know you carry a secret from the Shire, and I know Black Riders have already passed through Bree. You will not come to Rivendell without me. I forgot all about this letter, Mr. Baggins. Uh, Mr. Underhill, it's from Mr. Gandalf. Bad news, I must leave at once. Make for Rivendell. Elrond will advise you. You can trust a, man of, a friend of mine called Strider. His true name is Aragorn. Of course you can join us, but you should have said you knew Gandalf. You would not have believed me until now. Bottoma, we will take the upstairs room instead of the Hobbit rooms. We got an Aragorn. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I was nervous about that. Okay. I guess it's time to go upstairs. Anything else to say? Watch out for that Strider. He's one of them rangers. He's with me right now. He is literally in my pocket. You still just hiccuping, buddy? Excuse me. I'm stealing coins from other people. Somebody probably left that as a tip for Bob and Knob, and uh, I'm just taking it. He's actually a space ranger, two Ithilian, two Ithilian and beyond. He made a point about taking the upstairs rooms, but uh, that's not actually something we do. I should um give Aragorn a weapon, right? I should also let Aragorn lead. Look, the shards of Narsil only gives two points. What do you have to say to me, Barlamin? You're literally talking to Strider. That other riddle is probably going to be a clue for something then. Oh, I'm just walking around, waving, swinging around my big swinging sword. Strange folk about in town. Dark folk and dark folks. Safest place would be the Prancing Pony, I reckon. Well, we just came from there. Welcome to the Bree Armory. I've been instructed by, uh, a friend to make you one piece of armor only. Which will you have? Armor for hobbits or armor for men? I'd say for men, because I'm in charge now. Uh, yep, yeah, this is okay. So, I think we're meant to answer the riddle and use the answer in the hole. Is this the small helmet? Okay, well, we're leaving Bree, and that seems as good a time as any to pause this and resume it later. Uh, we will resume this publicly tomorrow, and um, we'll see where this game goes. Like the Hobbit one, it's not good. It, it's not even as good as the Hobbit one. It's not getting worse, but it's not really getting better either. But I'd like to at least make it to Rivendell before I give up on it. So um, let's see if we make it to Rivendell tomorrow. And until then, this is Dave signing off. <laughs>